Hi guys, this is Dia and welcome back to Mom and Me. So today I have great news for you all. So past six to eight months, my husband and I, we've been working on creating our Mom and Me website, which is finally done. It's ready. It's live for you guys to check it out. And this is the reason why I could not post any video last week on my YouTube channel because I was busy doing all the checks and verifications for the website. It's all done and dusted. We are ready. We are live. A lot of you guys reached out and asked me why there was no video last week. So this is the reason I'm sorry for that. But I had to get this out so that I can announce it in today's video. So moving onwards, what can you expect from Mom and Me? Well, two things. One, my regular video on my YouTube channel, Mom and Me. And second is a blog post on momandme.com.au. I will leave the link of the website up on the screen and in the description box below. So guys, Guys, what are you waiting for? Go and check out the website, especially the blog post. And if you've got any interesting ideas about the blog post, please leave a comment down below in this video. Having said that, let's start with today's video, which is clever and smart kitchen organizers. Hi guys, this is Dia and welcome back to Mom and Me. Today, let's look at some clever and smart space-saving ideas to organize your kitchen. No matter what size your room, organizing a kitchen and keeping the clutter at bay can feel like a full-time job. Turn your back just one minute and your neatly tidied counters are once again in disarray. Drawers that were perfectly arranged once are now in total chaos. If this sounds familiar, then keep watching as today I will be rearranging my kitchen and regain control over a dysfunctional kitchen, I should say. I will be using a lot of clever kitchen organization ideas and organizers which are renter friendly and will complement perfectly to a small kitchen space as well. Organizing a kitchen is best done methodically and it may be best to tackle the job one category or area at a time. I will be starting with this cabinet next to my cooktop and oven. I currently store potatoes here but I observe that the potatoes are sprouting as the cabinet gets quite warm when the food is being cooked. This little fellow turned into a full tree here and even if I stored them in a plastic bag they still do not fail to sprout. If sprouts are big, it means potatoes have higher concentration of toxins and can cause gastric and neurological problems. So I decided to move the potatoes out from this cabinet. So let me move out the potato baskets and everything else in the cabinet and give it a good vibe and then I will rearrange it. I moved a shelf from this cabinet years ago to accommodate this stackable basket one on the other and now it seems time to put it back. I will place these rice and flour bins on the lower cabinet shelf. I will try to mention as many products as I can in the description box below in case you want to check them out. Next to the storage bins, I will add a pot and pan organizer rack. This is perfect to store all the baking dishes. With this, the bottom shelf is sorted. On top shelf, I want to store my kids' school lunchbox supplies that are currently sitting in the open shelves that I have next to the cooktop. I must say they are cluttering this space. So I want to move them out from here and tuck them away in a storage bin and move them inside the cabinet where they are easy to access but does not add to any visual clutter. I tuck them all into these two blue bins which go on the upper shelf and next to them I will add another basket that holds my oven mitts, vegetable mesh bags etc. Lastly I will add this over the door hanging bag organizer that will hold the garbage bags. So I fix this problem area by moving the potatoes out of this cabinet. Now so that I have moved the potatoes out I want to find a new home for them for which I will be using this trolley. I am currently storing masala dabba, roti, rolling pin and board here. But I think this trolley will be perfect to store potatoes, onions and garlic. So let me first empty this trolley and thoroughly clean and dry it. 
I used to store onions and garlic away from potatoes as I read that onions make potatoes sprout. However, potatoes were anyway being sprouted due to the oven's heat so I decided to store them back again as at least it's easy to access and use. So here goes garlic, two different varieties of potatoes and onions at the bottom. On top shelf, I will put the oil and ghee jars for which I will first glad wrap the shelf and put a tissue paper to absorb excess oil as it makes cleaning easier too. One rental friendly way to organize your kitchen is to use a kitchen trolley. I recently bought this kitchen trolley with a wine rack at the bottom and three shelves on the side. I have been looking for such a trolley for a long time and finally I found exactly what I wanted. I will use the top wire rack for storing sweet potatoes or I can even use it to store kitchen towels here. On below shelf, I will put roti making essentials, rolling pin and board, dusting floor etc. At the bottom shelf, I will store all the water bottles that we use on daily basis for my gym and kids school. Most important of all, I want to remove all the kids' medication from the cabinet next to the chimney and organize them in this kitchen trolley. If potatoes could not survive next to the oven cabinet, these medicines do not stand a chance. So it's best and safe to move out kids' medicines too. These side shelves on the kitchen trolley are not only perfect to organize regularly used kids' gummies and over-the-counter medicines, but it's super easy to access to. I know my kids will not touch the medicines from here and try and consume it themselves. However, if you have naughty little munchkins around, it's best not to keep them at arm's reach. Another use for these side shelves is to store extra packets of spices or oil bottles that you use on regular basis. The big bottle will not fit, but the small ones certainly do and are very convenient and accessible too. Finally, I will put some stationery in the top drawer so that my utensil drawer does not turn into a junk drawer with all the stationery that kids store there and keep taking from there. Introducing kitchen trolleys will give you more space, especially if you have small kitchen. Even if you don't have a small kitchen, extra storage and working space is always welcome, isn't it? Now so that I have moved out all the kids lunchbox supplies from the shelf above, I want to utilize this space to keep some crockery. Currently, I have all my crockery sitting on the bench top in my dining room and I rarely use them as they are always out of my sight. So I want to move them inside the kitchen so I am emptying this cabinet and creating some space for crockery. I realize that I have dedicated this cabinet to random stuff that I do not use regularly as I hardly open this cabinet. And I want to turn this dead space into a functional space just by storing that stuff that I will use. I will transfer most of the stuff into the cabinet where I used to store medicines before as smoothie jars and other random plastic stuff is fine if they get a little warm. To organize the crockery, I will be using this metal cabinet shelf organizer. I can use the vertical space and store some extra plates, bowls and soup spoons on the top shelf with the help of this shelf organizer. Kitchen organization is all about the space and how you can utilize it. I always say that kitchen organization is like putting a puzzle together and you need to keep solving the puzzle till you get it right. Kitchen is a place of creativity. Whether it comes to cooking or organizing cooking tools and equipments, a little bit of motivation can transform the space. Shelf risers helps you create more space on the shelves. They are available in different sizes so you can have one for the normal kitchen shelf and others for the cabinets. They are ideal storage points for cups, spices and other pantry items too. Now this is the final look of the crockery cabinet. I am happy the way it looks and can't wait to use these beautiful cups and plates more frequently now. In the cabinet next to the crockery, I will place all the Nutri Ninja smoothie cups with lids. On the top shelf, I will place few bottles and jars that are currently not in use. Frequently used items on the lower shelf and not frequently used items on the top.
I created some more space in another cabinet to accommodate all the cups and the latest addition to my kitchen, these colorful salt and pepper grinders. Again, on the top rack, I will place few serving plates that are not used on regular basis. So this is how all the cabinets look. I still feel that I could optimize certain areas, say for example this black crockery area. I will slide the black tray behind the shelf divider so that I can place big bowls together with these black ones and utilize the space more optimally. Now to these round serving plates and salad bowls that will not fit into the cabinet. I will place these onto the shelf next to the cooktop where I had kids lunchbox stuff before. I will place the hand blender accessories into this acrylic fridge organizer as otherwise they just slip everywhere on the shelf and this way they can be neatly tucked away in a corner and I can utilize the rest of the space for the big serving trays and bowls. I really like how neat and functional this corner looks right now compared to before. Maybe a little overcrowded but definitely much more functional. This spice rack I have shared few times before so let me not get too much deep into the details here but this acrylic shelves are actually dough shelves from my old fridge that actually went into the metal scrap. So I took them out and we created this spice rack. These jars, the spice jars are 175 ml glass containers with bamboo lids. The spice rack is one of the favorites in my kitchen and it not only looks beautifully organized but is super convenient having all the spices I need close to the cooktop. Again, links to all the products in the description box below in case you want to find some for yourself. Another problem area in my kitchen is these glass storage boxes. For some reason, this drawer always gets cluttered. I do tidy it from time to time by stacking the containers one over the other. However, it still turns into a mess. Also, by stacking one over the other, they slide a lot upon opening or closing of the drawer and one of the glass containers cracked in fast. So today I will be organizing these glass containers using the same type of shelf dividers that I used in the crockery cabinet. These are perfect fit to organize all the glass boxes in one place and on top layer there is enough space to either place a container or just to place extra lids too. It's been a while since I'm using this drawer organized this way and I'm totally loving it. So easy to access and looks great too. One another area in my kitchen that I have lately organized is my under sink cabinet. All the kitchen cleaning clothes used to clutter this cabinet on the top shelf. So I organized them using this metal over the shelf hanging organizer. I have two of these here. One holds all the cleaning clothes and other one holds different kinds of cleaning brushes and the gloves and it's been this neat since almost a month now. So this system is finally working for my kitchen. I like the fact that I still have space on the bottom shelf to keep extra storage box and kitchen paper towels too. On the right, I have this four tier desk organizer where I have placed all the different types of sponges and scrubbers that I use in the kitchen. Another organizer that I would recommend is this two tier bathroom countertop organizer. It can be used on the bathroom counter to store your personal care products or in the bathroom under sink cabinet to store bathroom toiletries or it can even be used on the kitchen countertop to store oil and ghee jars. Very versatile in its functionality. Another great kitchen organizer is this over the door towel hanger. This does not require any drilling and is rental friendly as well. I have another type of over the door hanging hooks which I think were great find. Like me, do you like to have your handbag next to the entrance door and always end up putting it on the floor as there is no dedicated place to hang your bags? If so, then I got you covered. I found this over the door hanging hooks that you can simply slide over the door or drawer and hang your school bag or handbags onto them as soon as you enter the home. These hooks have points in case you want to screw them but they work perfectly fine without screwing too. Another rental friendly home organizer is the self-adhesive mail and key holder. 
We ordered this from Amazon and only used the self-adhesive stickers that came inside the packet to stick it to the wall. It's great to hang keys, put mails or masks and even a hand sanitizer. It's surprising how much weight it can carry. Another great find from Amazon is this oil proof and heat proof aluminium kitchen backsplash sticker. If you follow me regularly, then you know that I have burned my backsplash and I was looking for something to hide it as I film a lot of cooking videos. But that sticker should be heat resistant too. And this one is perfect as it is oil and heat resistant. Last organizer for today is two car organizers. My kids had turned my car into a trash can with all those tissue papers and teeny tiny toys that they like to carry in the car. So I bought this car backseat organizer which has different pockets that can be utilized for toys, the water bottle, one for the trash too and it has made life easier for both of us, kids and myself. There are car backseat organizers available with iPad holders too. However, I didn't pick that as we never encourage screen time in car unless it's a very long drive. Last organizer for today is this car boot organizer which is great way to keep all the extra pair of clothes, some snacks, swimming gear etc etc in your car. So guys, organizers make organizing not only fun but practical and functional too. If you are interested in any of the organizers mentioned in today's video, please check the description box. I have tried to find a link to as many as I can. If you find this video helpful, please help me increase its reach by liking and sharing this video or simply commenting down below. And don't forget to subscribe to Mom and Me and I shall see you in my next video. Bye for now.